Hello, in this video we will be looking at these equations, power in, power out, and we'll be using changing up for IPVP ISBS, which looks quite complicated but isn't too bad really, and it is to do with transformers, which you find in the national grid. What you've got to remember is that in transformers, in a step up transformer, the voltage increases, but the current decreases and the power stays the same. You're stepping up the voltage, you're dropping the current, but the power stays the same. So overall, power in is the power out. They're very, very efficient. They, they waste virtually no power. Now you can re represent the same thing, power in, power out, as IPVP, which is the current on the primary times the voltage on the primary, which is equal to the current on the secondary and the voltage on the secondary all multiplied together. That's a really key equation that we'll be using a lot. A step down transformer is the exact opposite. The potential difference drops, the current increases, but as ever, the power stays the same because it's so efficient. Uh, same thing again though, IPVP is equal to ISVS. It does look horrible, but it sort of becomes a little bit easier when you actually start using it. Remember, that's what they stand for. And it's just a case of really picking out what they mean and find, finding the information in a question and then putting the numbers in the, in the right places. So, we've got the value of a current in the primary coil and we've got the equation. So let's have a look. IP, the current in the primary coil, what is it? That's what we want to know. What is the current? We don't know. Okay, if its potential difference is 400,000 volts, so that's your VP, uh, your current on the secondary, 6 amps, and the potential difference is 240 volts. So those are numbers. Let's put them into the equation. It looks like that. Now, once you've got the numbers in, it's just, just, it's just working through like normal. Best thing, tidy it up. Best thing, make it look tidy, make it look easy. Let's change. That's 6 times 240. That works out as 1,440. Uh, now, what we need to do is get rid of this 400,000. And we do that by dividing both sides by 400,000. Uh, and when you divide that, that's cancelled out. And that's on the other side. It's just a standard rearranging. And it gives us the current on the primary. It's not point. Not not three six amps. Let's have another go. Here is another one, and those are the equations that we need. And let's work out what the numbers are. IP, do we know that? Yes, we do. Current on the primary is 0.5. Uh, the potential difference is 1500 volts. 1500 volts there. What will the current be on the secondary? Okay, so we don't know that one. Um, voltage on the secondary is 300 volts. There we go. All the information is there. Put the information in the right places. Okay, best thing, tidy it up. In which case, there we are. It just looks a little bit easier, a little bit easier to deal with. Uh, now I need to get rid of the 300 on this side. If I divide both sides by 300, we end up like that. And that gives us, the current is IS, 2.5 amps. Now this next one, um, I won't really talk through it. I think I'm just going to do it pretty much silently and you can look at it and see where it goes. We'll start off with the equations. work out what the letters are. Put them all in. And that should give us an answer. Well done if you got that right. One last one. Just 
do it the same way. And that's giving you plenty of practice. Uh, on the next slide, I'm going to look at similar things, but where you change the where you, we change the units to some degree as well. But that level you got there is quite difficult already. If you're feeling that's quite difficult, you might want to stop for a bit and have a break. Okay. In this little section, we're going to use the equation power in, power out, which is the same as IPVP. ISVS and we're doing the same thing as before using this equation but we're going to put some units in there some units that are difficult just makes it just to spice it up a bit there's your question and straight away this bit here is looking a little bit dodgy you have to think about that one there but otherwise it works the same way work out what the numbers are Pick them out. So we must do something. Before we can actually do the equation, we must remember we need to deal with that 2.5 milliamps. Let's put the numbers in. And there's your milliamps. Now that needs to be in standard SI units. Let's sort them out. We need to divide that by a thousand. When you see milli, you must divide by a thousand. So those are the real numbers. Same as before, tidy it up a bit. Slightly less numbers to deal with now, because I've timed this 1.5 by 240. But really, it's just standard rearranging now. And it gives you an answer. 144,000 volts. Let's just have another look at another one. Same idea though. And there, we can see that we've got a killer. It says killer, meaning 1,000 volts. That's your problem. Don't forget, this kilovolts has to be dealt with, and killer means, well, it means a thousand volts. So you've got to times by a thousand. There you've got that killer. Times by a thousand. An awful lot of volts. Same as now, normal now, same as normal. And then it's standard rearranging. There we go.